Okay, here we are with my Bradford White 50 gallon hot water heater. We've been in Bucks County here, uh, Pennsylvania, since 99, and it seems like every three years I have to replace this beast. So the last time it was replaced, the plumber suggested you should be flushing the tank once a year. So what we've got here is I, I took a small hose that was on my hose bib outside from the hose bib to the hose reel, just a real short piece of hose. And I screwed it onto the bottom of the tank, right? And I have a five gallon bucket here, which I'm gonna just uh, put the hose in, right? And then you just open the valve down here with a screwdriver and you'll hear it open. You just have to open a little bit and then you'll see the water will be flowing out. Very big time. I could go to the sump pump pit, but you know, I just decided to put it in a five gallon bucket. And fill it about halfway or so since shut it off. Yeah, just fill it a little bit so it's manageable to lift it and carry it out of the, the basement here. I could have, like I said, gone to the sub pump pit, um, but, you know. Anyway, um, I also put a cap on this once I take the hose off. I thought it was a little additional protection against leakage. When I take the hose off, I just cap it. Because um, you saw how easy it was to turn that valve to turn on the water. I also have a pan here that I have plumbed, can't quite see it here, to my sump pump pit. So if there was a leak like happened before, the water would go safely into the sump pump pit. And then lastly, where did that guy go? Uh, right here, a watchdog water alarm. I set that right in the tray here. Um, if there is any leakage, it goes to the tray. And of course, if I touch both terminals here, it sets off the water alarm. Now, of course, you have to be home to hear it but at least it's something and uh, doesn't flood my finished basement. Okay, and we'll see how it goes.